Well, the DA says uh, former Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille's decision to form her own party poses no threat to its support base in the Western Cape or anywhere else in the country. Well, DeLille says uh, she will be revealing the name of her party in two weeks' time. She says she wants to continue doing what the so-called DA cabal didn't support, and namely addressing the apartheid spatial plan in the city. DA National Spokesperson Soli Malati responds. I mean, for us, our focus now is to continue with our mission of building one South Africa for all. Uh, Ms. Delil has chosen a path outside the DA. Um, we'll continue making sure that our mission to create jobs where we govern, um, to make sure that we professionalize the uh, South African police service, but more importantly, to serve the people that voted for us. Our priority are the people of the Western Cape and everywhere else in South Africa where they voted for us. And it is to unite South Africans behind that vision of building one South Africa for all. Well, that's certainly the top story of the day. For more on this, we're joined via Skype by political analyst Professor Diniko Maluleke. Prof, a very good evening to you. Thank you very much uh, for your time. I think, uh, first question, of course, does this come as a surprise at all? Well, it doesn't come as a surprise because we know things have been uh, bad between uh, Patricia DeLille and the DA, what is a little surprising is why she took so long uh, inside of the DA uh, so that she gives herself so little time really uh, to prepare for the 2019 elections. But it could be that uh, she has more in view than just the 2019 elections. It is a little too late to start a party now if you're wanting to contest the 2019 elections uh, very seriously. Mm. We've seen this before uh, in South Africa. This is um, the fifth significant uh, party to be formed in, 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 uh, in, in post-apartheid South Africa. Yeah. I'm thinking here of COPE, of Ahang, of African Democratic Change, um, Makosi Koza, and now we see uh, Ms. Delil uh, doing the same. Well, Prof, uh, look, uh, without a doubt, she does enjoy support in the Western Cape, both within the Democratic Alliance as well as with the ordinary masses. Do we see this as a ploy by Patricia DeLille in trying to, even though the DA has already said it, they don't see any threat that is being posed. Could this be a possible threat to the Democratic Alliance and its support, given the support that she enjoys within the Democratic Alliance and the ordinary mass? Well, she clearly is uh, looking to 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 use um, that level of support that she is supposedly has in the Western Cape. Mm. Uh, she she is looking to use the anger that not only she has but uh, several other people inside and outside of the DA over the way in which she has been treated. If you look at the statement, she spends a lot of time mm. talking about the DA cabal mm. and what the DA has done uh, to her. Is, she uh, she, is there a lot of spite in what we hear in the way that she speaks about what has happened according to her within the Democratic Alliance and how she says she's doing this for the good of South Africa? Well, they all say that. Makoti Koza said that. Yeah. Mampila Rampila said that. Yeah. Um, uh, Musiwa Likota and Bazi Mashlowa also said that. They all say they're doing it for, 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 for South Africa. They want to take us back on path. They want to take us back to the constitutional values. That part of what she says is not new. What I think we are waiting for is to see whether she will have feet on the ground, whether she will have foot soldiers, mm. whether she will have the money that is necessary mm. uh, to mount a campaign that is credible. Um, I, I think that that is what we will have to to wait and see mm. not just in the western cape but she says she wants to compete across the land that's right uh, let's talk about if there could be any strategic reasons why she didn't opt to join the anc or even the eff uh, you already said that it's a little bit too late to want to start a political formation that would want to contest in the 2019 elections uh, is there anything strategic about why she's choosing to do this on her own where she could have joined others like the anc and uh, the economic freedom fighters well despite her saying that um She's in this to win, and that she's not intending uh, to form any coalition. 
I think that uh, from the side of her eye, she is looking at a possible coalition uh, going forward. I don't think she can rule out a coalition uh, with either of those parties that you have mentioned mm. uh, completely. It, it, is, it is the character of uh, Patricia Dill. She is such a person mm. that I, I don't think she would make it a first option to join another political party. Yeah. Uh, even when she joined uh, the DA with the ID, the, uh, the idea was that she was going to have prominence uh, in, in this new formation. Yeah. Uh, and, and she did have some prominence. So I don't know that any other party would promise her prominence now. A part of that relationship, uh, possibly uh, from what we've been seeing uh, between uh, Patricia DeLille and the economic freedom fighters, there seems to be somewhat of a cosy uh, relationship there. Recall she'd been invited previously to attend uh, a function of the economic freedom fighters. So you're not ruling out the possibility, of course, of uh, uh, moving forward, her working with any of these other political parties, the ANC and the EFF. No political party can ever say for sure that they will never collaborate with another political party. It is the nature of politics yeah. that politicians uh, do settle and politicians do um, find one another when there is power to be had yeah. uh, and, and, and when there's, um, the, 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 the stakes are high. So I, I think that... Um, She's starting a new party, but I think she will be open to coalition, especially in 2019, given that there's so little time yeah. for her to, to do much, really, for her own party. Well, Prof. Uh, Diniko Maluleka, thank you very much uh, for joining us there, talking to us about uh, that uh, announcement by Patricia.